I'm going to do a short video, and I'm thinking I'm going to start putting more of these videos out rather than these complete rebuilds and, and stuff, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how some of these systems work. Uh, what I'm working on here is a, a WCFB a Carter carburetor, and this was one of the early ones in the 50s. I think this is off a of 57, 58 Chevy. And uh, this was back when they were uh, trying uh, vacuum secondaries on these. And uh, then eventually they went to the air valve that's in the body uh, to kind of choke it before they, you know, open up. But uh, this is the, the vacuum diaphragm for the secondaries. And it has a, uh, uh, you know, vacuum pod in here connected to this arm down here and when vacuum is applied when the throttle opens up this will pull in like that and then open the secondaries now where it gets its vacuum from is this uh, channel here comes down and it it's uh, cut out inside this plate but it feeds over to this port here and uh, what this port does is gets the vacuum signal and where it gets the vacuum signal from is like it's uh, it's like ported vacuum let's see if we can get this in here if you look inside here Right there is a uh, vacuum nozzle. Air rushes by here, it's got a hole in the bottom. When the air rushes down the Venturi, it's going to create a vacuum on this. this. This thing here goes into this void, passes under this other void, so then there's vacuum being applied in both chambers. The one in the back here is the assist. So when these secondaries do start to open, air is going to rush past this one and assist the vacuum pod in opening. So they're just, you know, connected to each other. You know, if you notice, this one is on this side of the carburetor and then the back one is on this side. So that's, that's basically how the system works. When, the, uh, when you open these up, the primary, and there's enough airflow through the uh, front venturi here, it's going to create a vacuum in that chamber that's going to come all the way across the chamber in the body and it's going to pull vacuum on this port, which in turn is going to start opening the uh, secondaries. So just manually open them here. And then, now when the manual secondary start open, they're going to pull air through the venturi that has uh, the other little tube sticking down. And now it's going to assist uh, for these to open up wide open. And then when you close this throttle, it's linked. It's actually going to force that secondary closed, which, you know, will break off the, uh, the signal to open them. I just thought I'd, I'm going to put that out there just so when you guys see uh, they go in the, the secondary, there's a spring on top of it, and uh, they're, they're not cheap. They're somewhere around 60 bucks, but I just figured I'd throw this out there. Yeah, sorry for all the noise and uh, and stuff with the air hose. Uh, it, it's it's a little more difficult to get that uh, air nozzle right over over that uh, that port. Uh, you know, I I tested it with the uh, uh, 
the air horn off, you know, it's easier to get in there. But then I realized, I guess, I should show you guys, you know, how I test them to make sure that's function. And that applies to anything that has a, uh, a, a vacuum secondaries, you know, uh, uh, you know, Hollies and, you know, there's, there's others out there. And, uh, you know, you want to blow air over that port passage uh, to, to make sure that the uh, system is working properly. And you also got to watch out, uh, you know, most carburetors have a uh, secondary lockout system on them. And uh, what, what that does is like when the engine's cold and the choke's engaged, you know, even when it cracks open when you first start it, uh, uh, they have a device. Uh, WCFB has, has this lever down here. And you can see like the lever is up and there's a notch and it's going to prevent those uh, secondaries from opening uh, until the car is warmed up. So, you know, it's just a, a fail safe to keep people from over revving the cold engine. So as the choke opens, you know, I manually open it because it's under spring pressure. You can see this arm starts coming down and now it kicked off the fast idle. Now you can see down here. Now it's cleared, it's unhooked from the uh, secondaries. So now I can go to wide open throttle. Make sure it's open all the way. I go wide open throttle, now I'm gonna have to uh, just manually work this vacuum secondary. I'm gonna just push it up. See, now you can see it, it'll move. You see a little lever back there? See a little lever there moving? And uh, when that's closed, that'll lock that and keep it from opening up. So just something when you're when you're testing stuff, make sure that the lockout is disengaged on, on whatever carburetor you're working on. And uh, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.